Yo, what's up, YouTube? I just ran my first half marathon. That's right, 13 miles. Never done it before in my whole life. Just did it less than an hour ago. I am beat. I am beat. This is my last meal of the day. It's something like six or 700 calories, and it's got 40 grams of protein. Peanut butter powder, peanuts, almonds, some Reese's Puffs, banana, Greek yogurt. Real, real, real tiny. Lots and lots of calories. In fact, the three pound salad, which takes up a bowl way bigger, was half the calories of this little bowl. So, refueling meal, meal right here. Anyways, that's how I feel right now. Feel like a frickin' gladiator. I'm gonna keep this video short. I just wanna talk about how I got to this point. So, I started training eight months ago, but I didn't start running really, maybe until six months ago. And I just tried to run a few times a week, and it was never really anything serious. I don't know how many months ago I turned it into something serious. I could look it up on Strava, but uh, for the last, I don't know, two or four months, like I can't remember how long now, I've been running six miles three times a week, so about 18 miles a week. And in the last, I think, month, maybe month and a half, I can't remember when, I just doubled it. And I started doing 10 or 11 mile runs three times a week for a weekly total mileage of uh, uh, about 30 miles a week, a little over 30 miles a week. Uh, generally, it looks like run club practice on uh, Tuesdays, and then I do my own long distance run on Thursdays and Saturdays. Recently, I went running with a buddy and we went up over a mountain, like 10 miles, like three miles up a hill, downhill, plus I guess another four. So I'm going to start doing uh, like one mountain run a week, one long distance run a week, and then my track track club run. That's going to be my runs per week. But uh, yeah, today was track practice, and I got a cool eight miles in at least, I think. And at the end of the practice, uh, I was the last one to finish because I went extra long. And so I thought, oh, what the heck? Nothing hurts. Let's go on the track. So I did, and I got in... I got in another five miles, I guess. So th cool 13 miles down, my first half marathon. So how do I feel? I mean, everything here kind of feels like, just kind of like, <laughs> like <coughs> a little short of breath, but you know, I'm fine, you know, but I definitely, definitely beat myself up. And my knees, my knees are always my number one thing that gets messed up whenever I push myself. And uh, they're okay. I can tell they're gonna be fine tomorrow. Everything's good. Uh, I'll be good to go in two days. So tomorrow's my rest day. I mean, I'm going to be working out at the gym, but that's not, it's a different thing than the cardio, right? And then on uh, Thursday, I'll be doing my probably long distance run. And then Saturday, I'm going to be doing my mountain run. Um, running's awesome. I mean, I'm trying to cut weight, lose calories, get rid of my belly fat. So this run was over 1,100 calories burned give or take. I mean, obviously I'm eating back six or 700 or so, but I'm still going to be ending the day at an over 1000 calorie deficit, which is about a third of a pound, which is pretty sweet. You know, I've only got six or seven pounds left to lose before I get to that, that goal, which is 13% body fat. Uh, yeah. So I'll do another video in the future talking about my different running shoes. Today I decided to wear my lower distance higher speed shoes and i'm really surprised that i was able actually to do my longest run ever in my speed shoes not my distance shoes so i'll definitely be talking about my speed shoes versus my distance shoes in another video uh, but yeah i just need to really take a nice hot bath and kind of massage my legs out and just chill out get some really good sleep because uh, I only got six hours of sleep last night. I was supposed to, I was supposed to see my trainer last night, but there was a, uh, like as an engineer, sometimes things happen and you have to drop everything else and just fix it ASAP. They're known as P-zeros in the engineering world, known as a uh, priority zero, like issues, bugs, whatever. So there was a P-zero last night and I was uh, partially responsible I would say the majority of the responsibility was on me, like AKA, like I screwed up and then other people were helping fix the problem. And most of them, well, I felt very responsible. So I made sure I was there from start to finish. And so I didn't, 
I had to cancel all my plans. I, get, I didn't get any, any exercise done yesterday. I felt like garbage about it. Uh, but I stayed up until 1.30 a.m., got it fixed, rescheduled my trainer for this morning. Saw my trainer this morning on like six hours of sleep. Did a workout this morning on like six hours of sleep and worked a full day. And then uh, just did my longest run ever. It, maybe it's the caffeine. I had a energy drink full of caffeine at like 4 p.m. So about an, an hour and a half before the run started. Maybe that's what got me through it. Uh, speaking of the run practice, here's what it was today. We ran out to the hill and then we did one mile repeats at a 10K pace. Except here's the thing. The team's 10K pace is like my 5K pace because they've all been running for a decade plus. Like these people are insane. They've been running since they were literally children. And I only started running half a year ago. And I'm like in my 30s. So I have so much catching up to do with these people. They're running at their 10K pace and I am like about to keel over dying. Like, oh, just breathing like that is making me, oh man, that was tough. So I was able to keep up with the fastest runners the first mile. After that, I couldn't do it. I kept up with like nearly the fastest runners for the next three miles. And for the last two miles, I just couldn't keep up. Uh, it got dark, people were calling it quits, but I said, I want to get all six. Because uh, I, can't, I can't compete with the best runners on the team right now, but I'll be darned if I'm not going to put in the work they're putting in. Because I want to catch up with them. And when we show up to the races, I don't want to be doing the 10Ks. I want to be running the half marathons with them. I want to be running the half marathons with the big dogs. Even if I'm finishing behind them, I don't care. I want to cross the same finish line they do. I don't care if I take twice as long. I don't care. I want to be running with the big dogs. I want to be at the front of the pack. And right now, I am not. Not even close. The people on my running team are so much faster and more conditioned than me. But, but I'll get there. If I have to stay after practice an extra 20 or 30 minutes just to get the distance in, I don't care. I'm going to do it. That's what I've been doing. I'm going to keep doing it. And uh, I'm just, I've been progressing so hard and I'm looking forward to the progress I'm going to make. And, you know, everyone follows a different plan to get to their goal when it comes to athleticism, running, couch to 25K is a really common plan. Honestly, I never followed a plan. Is it optimal? Definitely not. But, you know, I just like, if my body doesn't hurt, then I run. When my body starts hurting, I stop running. I take rest days, I never run back to back. In the future, I want to be able to run back to back. My, my big goal is to be able to run a 10K every day. Uh, I'm actually almost there in terms of weekly mileage, but it's 11 miles break day, 11 miles break day, 11 miles break day, break day. So what I want to get to is just six miles, six miles, six miles every day, maybe with a rest day, and that would be 30 miles, no, 36 miles a week. So that would be sweet. But I'm not there yet. My body needs my body needs a day to recover. At least I think my body needs a day to recover. But I am just so, so happy that I finally ran my first half marathon. And I wasn't even trying. You know, run practice was over and I thought I got more gas in the tank and my knees feel like they can take it. So I did it. Bam. 13 miles. So uh, I don't really have, know what the message is for this video, but... You know, someday in the future, I'm going to go, man, when was the first time I ever ran a half marathon? And I'm going to go to my YouTube channel, and here's going to be the video of me talking about it. So let it be known, future me, that on September 28th, 2021, I ran my first half marathon, and it wasn't for an event or a race, and I didn't set out to do it. I just did it on six hours of sleep, and I did a workout this morning. So you bet if I got the right sleep and I carb loaded and I got the right nutrition the day before instead of running a calorie deficit all week, including the day before, you bet I could do better. So I'm going to be doing a half marathon in the next race I show, I show up. If I don't, it's going to be the next one. But I'm going to keep pushing myself until I keel over and die. Like, like we're, let's, see how we, let's see how far we can take this. Obviously, I'm going to try to avoid injury. Uh, in that mountain bike crash that I got in, like my right shoulder is atrophied now. It's it's like smaller than my left shoulder. It's really embarrassing. I'm working with my personal trainer to get that back. But injury is just 
we don't want injuries, so I'm not going to run so hard that my knees get messed up for, a, you know, a day. But uh, short of that, like short of short of debilitating injury, I am just going to push myself every workout like I've been doing. I'm not going to follow any plans. I'm just going to listen to my body, listen to my body, listen to my body, listen to my body. And when it says stop, I stop. And when it says keep going, I keep going. And that's how I catch up with these people that have been running for 20 plus years. Like hot damn, try competing with people that have been running 40 times longer than you. Because I've been running for half a year and they've been running for 20 years. They have 40 times more running experience than me. Like I'm going to give myself a break when I can't keep up with them and when their 10k pace is my 5k pace. But I'm going to get there and my 10k pace is going to be their 10k pace. So another video coming up in the future on running shoes. Can't wait to tell you guys about my opinions on running shoes. Of course, they're all garbage because I've only been running for half a year. But if you can't run a half marathon, then maybe hear me out. And uh, by the way, I guess just since I'm in the front of the camera, these are uh, chubbies. I was really uh, on the fence about buying them. I bought a pair. Uh, if you go back in my channel, you'll see my video review of my first pair of chubbies. And uh, I've since bought two more pairs of chubbies, and I can say, I love them. I love these shorts. Uh, I got some shorts from, I think it's called Path Projects, or 10,000. It's the, whichever one is cheaper. Uh, and they're definitely nicer than these, but they don't have, they're not two-in-one. They're just shorts, and you have to wear your own underliner. So I love the chubbies because you can get the chubbies for about 40 bucks when they're on sale that have the underliner and the shorts, two in one, they're like sewn together. I've never had, had shorts like that before. So now I have three pairs. This is one of my three pairs. I have a Pepsi looking pair and like a blue pair, which is boring. And I think this and the Pepsi pair are my favorites. Uh, and they're awesome. Like the draw cord has a nice feeling to it and never comes undone. They all have some kind of zipper that I can put my car key and my AirPods in my pocket when I wanna talk with people while I'm running. You know, uh, the liner is just tight enough to stay on my legs and not bunch up, so it's perfect. The fabric is lightweight. It's not as light as the Path Projects or 10,000, but that stuff's literally twice the price for half the product. You're paying like 80 bucks for a pair of shorts without liners. Whereas with Chubbies, you get a pair of shorts with liners, two in one, for half the price when it's on sale. And they always have pockets. You gotta have pockets when you run. What are you gonna do, go running and hold your key in the hand the whole time? No. No, you're going to run without a shirt in the tiniest, tiniest pants you can find with short socks and shoes, okay? It's like borderline nudism. That's how we run, boys. Ah, half marathon.